I think when it comes to the world that we operate in at the moment, we are definitely entering an addressable age and addressability, personalization at scale is the holy grail of marketing at the moment. And we're having a myriad number of conversations with clients about how to achieve that relevance and, and personalization at scale for them in terms of really honing in on the power and potency of addressable communications. So we've definitely started the journey and we will be perfecting the journey obviously over the next couple of, of, of years ahead. Obviously with regards to being able to leverage first, second, third party data to fuel addressability of communications, that's the sweet spot of what we're looking at at the moment. And without a doubt, the technology is advancing at such a rate that is really helping us take a leadership position with some of our clients. So tell us about some technology that that's important now. Of course, we, we've talked about Sky, which is very innovative. What's happening in other parts of the world that are, you know, and, and there's also other issues where in certain countries in France and Germany, there's a lot of very strict issues around privacy and data and so on. But what is happening in terms of addressability that, you know, on the ground that's exciting to you? I think when it comes to um, the potency of addressability, I think that's really manifesting itself sometimes with regards to live communication and even sequential advertising. Obviously in terms of addressable television, we have done a lot of work with Sky AdSmart, particularly in the UK, and we have many examples across certain verticals like finance, tourism, leisure, um, and travel, whereby really the, the relevance and personalized communication is actually giving very good ROI. So even though sometimes you pay inflated CPMs for personalization, you actually do get a good return on, on any investment. And so we've got some very good cases that we're starting to build and share with, with other clients. So that's working very well. In other markets in Europe, I would say that addressability at large is still quite fetal. So um, we've still got a long way to go. And also we need to exercise some caution because GDPR, which is the General Data Protection Regulation, is coming into force in May 2018, next year. And if you are seen as an advertiser to, to flout any data protection rules, then your penalty is 4% of your global turnover, which is quite a hefty fine to pay, not a fine that anybody wants to pay lightly. Um, so we have to exercise some caution going into a world um, of, of, of being able to leverage trillions of data points. They just need to exercise some caution. Great. And then finally, uh, CES, you have a lot of brands here. Uh, what do you hope that they get out of this experience, both in the OMD room and more broadly at the conference? Yes, we have, uh, OMD has uh, a plethora of, of clients, global, regional and local here at CES this year. In fact, more than we've ever had before, which I think is a real manifestation of where CES, how much CES has evolved and where it's come from and where it is today. I mean, obviously you've got about 150,000 guests coming to CES now, which is, which is quite extraordinary. But I think it's an excellent opportunity to really galvanize great ideas not only just talk about ideas but plan what you're going to do and how you're going to leverage the technology that you see here in the next coming years so we're building a lot of our plans with our clients here at omd oasis and in a lot of the other forums that we've got going on over the next couple of days